The test that has been stressing out millions of students is changing. Here's everything you need to know about changes to the new SAT. The new SAT is going to be online. You can still take it at a test center or at your school, but they're going digital. They're saying you just open up the app and log on using your school's computer, or you can even use your own personal tablet or your own laptop. It's shorter now too. The test will be shortened from three hours to two hours. There'll even be a countdown clock on your screen. The reading questions are even going to be shorter with only one question per passage. And you might've missed this, but in 2021, they got rid of the essay section too. The math questions will now be less wordy. Yes, to more numbers and less words. Because some of you out there, you can do the math. It's their weird way of wording the questions that trip you up. And you'll be able to use calculators on the entire math section instead of just specific questions. In fact, a graphing calculator will actually be built into the app. And wait, I'm sorry, <laughs> so rude of me. I'm Jordana, I make videos helping students to get into and get through college. So if you're a student, like this video, comments, um, turn your notifications on, just do something, anything, so that YouTube will know that you're interested in more content like this and you want to stay on top of your next step in your college journey. Now, not only will the test be shorter, but so will your time waiting for your scores. Since it's digital, you'll get your test scores back in like days instead of weeks. And you know how you can normally talk to someone after the test and you can like compare answers or at least complain about how hard a particular question is and everybody who took the test is like, yeah, same, not anymore. They're using adaptive testing now. So that basically means that the test is going to change based on your answers. And they say that they're doing this to reduce the amount of time that you normally spend on questions that are too easy for you or questions that are too hard for you. I'm sure the experts know what they're doing, but sometimes you just know what you know. Like you could possibly just do really well on the hard questions and then you just tend to mess up on the easy questions. But from this, it sounds like if you mess up on the easy questions, they're just gonna assume that you don't know the hard questions because you missed the easy questions? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm sure the experts know exactly what they're doing and have it figured out. Some students tried the test last year and 80% of the students said they found the test less stressful. Feeling a little iffy? I don't have a laptop. What if my laptop breaks down? The internet at my school is a little bit sketchy. The College Board test makers are making promises to you. They're saying that the digital version will not penalize you if your computer loses power or if you are disconnected from the internet while you're taking the test. In fact, the digital test is designed to make sure that you don't lose your work or your time while you reconnect. And they're promising laptops or tablets to whoever needs them if your school can't provide them. So when is this happening? Well, in the fall of 2023, the PSAT will be delivered digitally for all students around the world. The SAT changes start in 2023 for international students, and in 2024, it'll start in the US. So share this with all of the freshmen, all of the sophomores in your life, let them know that this is all you. And I know you've heard about schools going test optional, but do not get caught out there unprepared. College policies on scores can change like that. Unless they're doing like the University of California or Oregon and they have permanently become test blind, meaning that they do not consider test scores as any part of the college application process, you never know. So many students on the low are still preparing for the SAT in order to keep their options open in case they want to submit their scores to colleges or to qualify for scholarships. But colleges aren't just impressed by scores. After your grades and your scores, recommendation letters are the most important factor that will determine whether you get into your dream school or not. So if you wanna know who to ask, how to ask, when to ask, all the details about getting the best college recommendation letter in your school, check out this video next.